Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your reading for January. This is the second reading for January and um, I will tag the first one to the end. I also did a, an element uh, singles for singles, you know, air signs, whatever, just a couple days ago if you want to watch that. We're going to get one of these and then we're going to break into that. It's for Libra, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I, you know, usually, yeah, I had somebody else in mind to do next. I had it all set. I was going to do somebody else, and all of a sudden, it just was like, nope, time to do Libras. <laughs> so, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, attachment. Ooh. Libra, you have to make some sort of change. This is a five, okay? It's a five. A change is needed. And you got to have to break free from something. You are changed to something that you're not supposed to be chained to. Okay, you got to take a mask off and you got to keep it off. You can't put it back on. And you may be going back and forth. You're in a gray area and you need to come out of it. All right, you got to come out of it. You've got to break that chain. You have to break that chain. Look at her face. You know, it's like wondering, 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 you know... Are you lying to yourself about something? I mean, you're coming here to heal, right? You're coming here for guidance. Being in denial is not going to get you anywhere. Somebody is holding on to something that they should not be holding on to and they're they're tied they're they're well you may think that you're tied to it but you're not and that could be the problem here you may think that you're attached to it when you really can break free you have the ability to break free from whatever it is that you are bound to it's your own prison Libra. Now fives are conflict and change. A change is needed. You have to, and it's about a choice that you make. Fives are changes and choices. You are choosing to stay in a gray space, a some place that you don't need to be. You're choosing it. You're choosing to. And you can change it. Fives are choices and change. You can change it. It's time to let go of the old and bring in the new. That's what the five is. But you may be angry. You may upset. be upset. You may be, you know... You keep looking at something and it keeps bringing back the memories. I don't know. There's definitely some miscommunication here or there's lack of communication or there's negative communication or there's... You're not getting what you want by the looks of things. Something isn't coming out the way that you would like or it's not happening the way that you would like and you'll probably keep on going back to it oh going back go i mean wanting to go back interesting you need to let go Ooh. no courage the Knight of Swords reverse is no courage. You're dealing with somebody that's not a trustworthy individual. And you can't you can't fight gravity. You know, you need it's good it's slipping away. So you need to stop deceiving yourself. You need to stop going back mentally a lot of mental energy here 
The Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords, I mean the Page of Swords, but she's holding the Ace of Swords. And uh, there's a lot of mental energy here. It's like you, you're you only hurting yourself by going back, I mean going back mentally and looking on their, their social media and stalking them or whatever the case. Every time you look it hurts you more. Maybe you were cheated on by somebody and you're waiting for them to come back. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. But it also looks like you're deceiving yourself in some way. You need to let go of something that probably is slipping away. You have other opportunities to build a foundation someplace else, but you... I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> what? What? You won't build a foundation with somebody else? Maybe you feel like there's nothing to celebrate. It's kind of like depression. I see depression here. Definitely some depression. You may feel like you're a victim. This is the Queen of Cups in reverse of victim mentality. There's some pettiness here. There's definitely some anger. I think that you're not, you're definitely not happy. I think that you feel cheated. I think that you feel like you've been cheated. Maybe you you feel like you're a victim of circumstance and you're not breaking free. Perhaps you still want, you want this commitment to come back. Yeah, it's somebody from the past. It is. These memories, like I said, I said memories up here. I knew this was going to come up anyway. The memories are haunting you. You're being haunted by memories of the past. And you may be feeling frustrated and angry and upset that this person has cheated you. You know, you feel cheated. You feel robbed. You feel robbed of your happily ever after. You feel robbed of your contentment. You feel robbed of your relationship. And you feel like you're a victim. And you're hurting yourself because you keep looking back. You keep on looking back. You keep on reminiscing. Not releasing. It's time to move in a new direction. You need to block. You need to block this out. You need to block this person. And you need to stop looking back. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're no longer emotionally available to you. And you just can't let it go. You can't let it. It's time to move forward and communicate in another direction. There it is. It really, really is. It's swiftly. It's time for you to get moving. The time is now. The time is right now to stop looking at the past. You need to love yourself. You need to make yourself emotionally available in a different direction. You need to stop letting yourself be hurt because you are. You're allowing it. You are allowing it. You're allowing your mind to get the best of you. It's time to let go of the past hurts. It is. I mean, if you look up the Three of Swords reversed, it's time to let go of the past hurts. That's what this is about. I think that for some of you, probably a good majority of you, you've been involved for the third party situation. And it was a painful one and you can't let it go because it was so painful. Whoever you were dealing with shut themselves off emotionally to you. And it totally uh, broke you. But now it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. I feel like it's time to release this pain. And leave the past behind. Leave that hurt behind. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Change of destiny. Change of course. This all happened. This is a card of purpose. This whole thing happened. There's reason why this has not come back around and it hasn't come to fruition the way that you wanted was because you have something better. Something more fortunate. Something more rewarding is 
around the corner. It's around the corner. Something that you are destined to run into. But right now you're still attached to something. And you need to accept the truth. It's taught you can't change the reality of this. Moon reversed. And it's like somebody's trying to change the reality and you can't change the reality. There's a reality check at this point with the moon reverse. Reality check. Destined change. You can't escape this change. You can't escape destiny. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You're not learning some sort of lesson. It's time to start a new chapter, but you're refusing to do so. You're a lack of completion. You know, you're not allowing a cycle to complete when it needs to complete. A cycle needs to complete, but you have to take the step. This is a card of free will and destiny. But free will does play a part. So if you want to continue to live in denial about something, then you won't get your reward. That somebody is refusing to learn a lesson about their past. Still wanting, or maybe you're even trying to communicate with this past and it's hindering your progress. Not learning a lesson. Damn it. Let's, let's clarify that world card. Somebody is refusing to finish this cycle when it needs to happen. It'll bring you, bring you something much, much better if you could accept. But you can't let go of an unrequited love situation. It's a one-sided situation that you need to let go of so that you can find true love. It's like you're, you're fighting for no reason. It's like and you're getting angry and upset because this person, whoever it is that you're with, has moved on. But it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to realize that you, ha you have a better opportunity. Let that opportunity fall to the ground. Let it go. You have an opportunity for stable, stability and security someplace else. <laughs> oh my God, you absolutely do. But you're focused on the wrong one. You're focused on the wrong one. This person that you are focused on is focused on somebody else. They can't see what you have to offer. They're not interested Oh, God, please. I don't want to give these kinds of messages. It's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out of this darkness and realize that you have another opportunity. And maybe that's what's happening. Maybe some of you are. Because some of you are letting go of past hurts and you're taking destiny and you're accepting reality. So some of you are. Because we're all at different levels. Some of you are realizing that you have another opportunity. You're letting the past go and you're changing your destination. So some of you are. But with that world card reversed, some of you are not. Refusing to complete the cycle. But because we have both of these cards, some of you are and some of you aren't. Some of you aren't. But some of you are. So, you know, this is for a big wide audience. Um, let's put that right there. Um, I think you're in an unrequited love situation, or you were, and you have another opportunity, but you can't see it. You can't see it because you're focused on the wrong one. You're focused on that past hurts. Closed yourself off emotionally to a new beginning with somebody else. Yeah, you know, there's like, there's, there's no hope. It's like you've lost hope and love. And therefore, you're not going to have wish fulfillment. There's no wish fulfillment focusing on, 
a unrequited love situation where you're dealing with somebody who doesn't feel the same way. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretend. I will not. I will not. Whatever it is, it's not love. The Ace of Cups reverse, it's not love. And there's no wish fulfillment here. And you're not allowing yourself to heal the way that you need to heal by you keep looking back. Looking, I see a lot of like stalking, observation, looking back, trying to figure out what's going on. That's all, all that's doing is hindering your closure. It's hindering your completion. It's hindering your new new life. It's hindering your new chapter. It's time to get unstuck, but you're refusing, right? You're resisting change like mad. You're sacrificing yourself for no reason. You need to you need to stop. You do. There's 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 too much sadness here. You're like I said, those negative thoughts at the beginning, your thoughts are getting the best of you. Reminiscing about this past person who left you left you, left you out in the cold. Didn't fulfill their didn't fulfill their end of the bargain in love. They cheated you. They cheated you of love. They cheated you of heavily, happily ever after. And you keep thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. When in fact, you know, you have another opportunity if you could just stop. Oh my God. Denial. Blocking the truth. I'm in denial. I want to see the truth. I want to believe the truth. I don't want to accept the truth. The fact of the matter is, is that the truth has been revealed and you know what the truth is. And it's time for you to take that mask off and unblock your heart, unblock yourself to love so that somebody can love you. You have multiple options. Choose another one. You have an opportunity to choose another option. But there's bitterness and resent here. Anger. You need, you need to let go of that. You're holding on to resent over the past. And therefore you're, you're, you're not moving forward. You're not... finding stability. I mean, it's like you're, it's turned your life. Your life is, is going backwards. It's upside down. Because, you you know, when your thoughts are a mess, which I can see they are, absolutely, with all these swords, whatever, your thoughts in your head is a mess. It messes up everything else. When you can't think clearly because you're so upset over what happened, you know, it causes issues at work. It causes issues with planning. It causes issues with money. It causes issues with everything else. When you're, when you're overwhelmed in your head, it, it, everything else falls apart. It's time for you to accept some sort of reality, even though it hurts. And I know that I can see a lot of hurt here. A lot of pain, a lot of bitterness and resent over rejection. So I feel like there's some sort of loss that you are angry about. You're upset about. There could be some tears. There could It could be really emotional. You could be really emotional. Um... Tearful, uh, sad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And it's because somebody that you loved moved on, left you out in the cold. So I feel like this is a month of, of recovery because the Three of Swords reverse is recovery. It's recovery. It's a month of healing. It's a, it's a month of forgiveness. It's a month of, you know, moving in a new direction with that wheel of fortune. This happened to bring you something better. There's a reason, there's a purpose why this happened. 
That's the, that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. So that it's time for you to start a brand new chapter, and you're about to start a new brand new chapter. But you gotta you gotta take that chain off your arm and walk out of that gray area. So I feel like the day today, or not today, this month is a month of forgiveness because this is forgiveness and choosing making a choice to you know find peace because the rainbow is peace in a situation and choose another option so i feel like you're going to be presented with multiple choices this month and you have an opportunity to choose another one you do you do but whether you do or not whether you do or not that's well that's free will and that's why that destiny card is there that wheel of fortune right now somebody is in denial I mean, you can't you can't pretend with that card at all. You can't. Um, it's like you're at this. You have to make a painful choice. You have to make a painful choice as to whether you're gonna open your heart up to somebody new, or you're gonna keep keep holding on to something that you don't want to believe. You know. Anyway, there's um, inability to see the truth, or I refuse. I refuse to accept the truth. That's what this card is. The truth is, whoever it is that hurt you has moved on. It's true. Has moved on. So it's time for you to, to choose another option. So I feel like this is a month of making a decision to forgive and let go of the past hurts. Is there new love coming in? Two cards for the singles or who at? Well, singles are still holding on to. Reversed. It's not time. It's not time. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's this person. If this is the person you were dealing with, he's not invested in love. I'm sorry. This person is not invested in love. He's invested in everything but love. And you need to make another choice. Is there love coming in? One more card. It's not time. It's not time. It's not time. Right now you're distracted. You're distracted by the wrong one. By somebody that's not well suited for you. So I think that you guys are focused on the wrong one and you need to uh, break free. You need to liberate yourself. You need to deal, you need to uh, break free from the pain. Right now you are still feeling the pain. You feel like you've been stabbed in the back. I feel like uh, right now I don't, I don't, I don't see new love coming in Libra because uh, you're still in pain. And that's the, what I see. So I'm not going to pretend that you got this fairy tale romance riding in on a white horse because I absolutely do not see that. I see that you guys need to detach from something that is holding you back from that arrival. And you're not allowing it. You're not allowing it at all. At all. So, um, and you're betraying yourself. You are betraying yourself by holding on to this other person who's not holding on to you. So I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with every single person, but that is what I have. You do have another option, a better option. You have multiple options, but you have to choose to see it. You have to choose to open your heart. I feel like there's a lot of uh, memories, a lot of memories of the past that are causing a lot of tears and and sadness and anger, the whole nine yards, bitterness, everything bunch of emotions negative thoughts and you're you're going through you know what's happening is you're healing you got and that's what, if you think about the stages of grief okay one of them is anger and one of them is is tears one of them is shock I, mean, I know the stages of grief okay um so right now i think that you're going through the stages of grief I think that you have lost somebody that you really love and you're grieving and so do I see new love coming in? No. I think it's a time of healing and moving in a new direction one step at a time. So that's what I have. Talk to you later.